Welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom. I'm Kendall Lawrence, and I am so happy that you're back here again with me today. And I want to share a very special recipe with you. Today it's Easter, and I am gracing my table with what I call my special occasion mashed potato casserole. Um, I meant to get this video out before Easter, but I just couldn't manage to do it. Um, but this one you're going to want to file with your favorites because you're going to want to put it on your table for every special occasion. I promise you. So let's get started. Come on in and let's take a look at our ingredients. Okay, so here are our ingredients. I have about seven slices of bacon here that I've partially crumbled up. I'm going to crumble it up some more. Um, I've cooked it until it's crisp. I have about a couple of pounds of all-purpose white potatoes that I boiled until they were fork tender and I'm just gonna uh, you know just pull the peels off of them when it comes time to peel them I have some green onions I have some chicken broth I have some gouda cheese I have some cheddar cheese I have some butter I have some sour cream I have some black pepper sea salt garlic powder garlic salt and I've got about a half a cup of milk so let's go ahead and get started putting this together Okay, so I have pulled the peels off my potatoes and I'm going to take my potato masher and I'm going to mash these up sufficiently. I've started with the mashing process here and I've put a little bit of heat back underneath my pot because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some butter and of course we want to have that melted. So I'm going to add some butter and I'm going to add some sour cream. I'm adding in a soup full or two of them of sour cream and I'm gonna I've got a half a cup of milk here I'm gonna start with a fourth cup because we want these potatoes to remain pretty thick so we're gonna gauge it so that it doesn't get too loose and I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth I'm gonna say that's about an eighth of a cup of chicken broth and I'm going to add I grated up a cup of cheese I have a half a quarter cup of gouda and a quarter cup of cheddar and I'm gonna put half this inside the pot and I'm going to put in my spices my garlic powder my garlic salt my sea salt and my uh, black pepper to taste Okay, so I put in about an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt, uh, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of black pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm going to put in half my bake, my crumbled up bacon, which would be about three slices of bacon. And I'm going to give this a mix. Okay, so I've mixed it up and I gave it a taste and I added some more black, <clears throat> some more black pepper and there's, um, my heat is on medium low so my butter is still melting but I did give it a taste and it tastes decadent. Um, I am going to mash it up a little bit more. I, I don't mind lumps but this is really, really lumpy and I am going to go ahead and add the other quarter cup of milk. Okay, I can't stop tasting, guys. It tastes so good. I added a little bit more sour cream and a, <clears throat> a little bit more black pepper and a little bit more garlic because we're, we're making this to taste, to however you like it. I like a lot of garlic flavor. I like a lot of black pepper, and I like the sour cream vibe with it. So now I'm going to put this in a casserole dish, and I'll show you what we'll do next. My creamy, sort of chunky, garlicky, bacony mashed potatoes in a, about an eight by eight casserole dish. And this was about two pounds of white potatoes. So about an eight by eight casserole dish. You can double this if you've got a crowd. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Then we'll have one more step after that. This has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. And I decided to go um, over the top of it with just a little bit of paprika, just to give it a little bit more color. And then I'm going to put some cheese on it. Okay, so I've got the other half of my Gouda sprinkled on top. And now I'm going to add the other half of my bacon. 
So I've got my remaining cheese and bacon um, on the top of it and my oven is still on 350. I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for a few minutes just until my cheese melts. We'll sprinkle it with some green onion and we'll give her a taste. Okay guys, here it is, our loaded mashed potato, special occasion mashed potato casserole. It looks lovely, absolutely lovely, picture perfect. I'm gonna dig right in and get a big spoonful. Oh wow, look, ooh. Wow, that's good. There is still some chunks of potato, so there's texture from the potato chunks and from the bacon that's inside and on top. The gouda and the cheddar, the sharp cheddar together. The scallions on top, the butter, the real butter that's in there. This is decadent. You gotta give this to company. You gotta put this on your holiday table. I'm sorry I got it to you after Easter, but there's always gonna be a holiday coming up, so bank this one, guys. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. I love you guys. Stay woke.